Green Heck. Building value in air. Welcome back to the shop. Today, another very green control to go through. This is the constant pressure controller or the constant CFM controller. What this will do for you is monitor two points of pressure and then control the speed of a fan to maintain that relationship. Now, how could we use this? The constant pressure controller simply will control the speed of a fan to maintain a pressure or CFM point. Now, to monitor those pressures, I have my ports here on the device, a high and a low, and then I'll have accessories to go along with it. Here is a duct static pressure probe. You can tell it's a static pressure probe because it's got a flat cut. This could help me monitor pressure within a duct. This probe, which looks very similar, is actually a total static pressure probe, and you can tell because it has a bias cut. It's actually taking both static pressure and velocity pressure into account. So these two probes right here together, commonly called a pitot tube, will allow this device to maintain a specific CFM. But if I wanted to control the pressure between one room and another room, or a room in a hallway, I could simply use a room probe, right? And there's up to 100 feet of quarter inch tubing that can run from here to the, where the probe is um, installed. So I could have one of these in the hallway, I could have one of these in this room. Now I can actually program and maintain the pr pressure differential between the two spaces. Let's crack this open and kind of talk about what's all inside. First off, this control is in a NEMA 4 enclosure. To get inside of this enclosure, we just push down on our little lever here and we can flip this open. Inside from the factory, you'll find two little screws. This is important because of the rubber gasket right here. To maintain that NEMA 4 rating, when this is all done and installed, these screws do need to be installed in these two points. Now inside here, we have our PID controller and we have our differential pressure transducer. There's a couple of things that we can point out also in here. We have a toggle switch to allow us to go from run mode to program mode. There's an auto zero button. The auto zero button allows the pressure transducer to zero out between these two ports. Typically what you'll do is take a short section of tubing put it on the ports, and then go ahead and depress that auto zero button. So there's zero pressure difference between the two. Now we are calibrated. Other buttons in here, we have a contrast potentiometer for the screen. We have our seven terminals pins here and our power here. So this whole control is powered off of 24 volts. Typically, that 24 volt power for this control is provided by either a very green transformer or a very green HOA control. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take a wire. I happen to have a very green HOA controller here. And then this allow me to grab the 24 volts and the common. We'll simply plug those in that port. So this next terminal strip, we'll go ahead and plug that in. has seven terminals, right? The first terminal down here is called a set point. This is a single wire, a zero to 10 volt signal that we can take from something else, like a building management system, and it can on the fly set what pressure to maintain. The second terminal and third terminals are a dry set of terminals, and when there's continuity between two and three, it gives you your override feature. And you can program what that override motor percentage is right within the menus. The third and fourth is the digital output terminal. There's actually a set point in here that we can program that if the motor goes over a certain percentage, it just simply closes. So we can report to another device 
that our motor just went over 90% of its capabilities. We also now have a reference output, that's the sixth terminal. The reference output is a zero to 10 volt signal this device can send to a building management system and it reports its current CFM or current pressure depending on which mode you've enabled and tells them in that zero to 10 signal what that is. The last, the seventh control output terminal, that's our zero to 10 that goes to the fan. This tells the motor how fast to go to maintain your set point. We'll actually go through those menus in the second video of this series. All right, we had a quick look at what the constant pressure or constant CFM controller is, um, a couple of the accessories that go with it, and where the wires are landed. Next video, we'll look at how to program this. Have a great day.